Cabs? How's that for him? A bit better? Okay. So we just... So I'm sorry, I'm just trying to lie out of the way here. So I can see yeah, all five cubs there accounted for. There's four between her legs and one lying off behind her. Now, who's going to be the bravest of the little Inkahumas or the older Inkahumas to try and go play with their cousins again? Now, this type of behavior is probably going to continue for sometimes up to two or three days maybe even a bit longer but eventually it will become normal now the inquisitiveness of the little ones they look like they're trying to sneak towards the bigger cubs So James Richard is wondering, one has to wonder what influences uh, that today was the day that the cub should beat the pride. James, I think it's the age. Um, they've got to the age where they're going to start becoming more reliant on meat, and uh, which for the lioness means they need to be able to feed with the pride. And it takes a bit of pressure off her in terms of milk production. Okay, so we've got one lioness there with the three little ones. We've got a second lioness with the five cubs. And then a third lioness. Can you see any more? I can only see three. Yeah, that's number three. Or well, there are two there, I can't see. I think there's just one there. Not to say, actually, I remember I did see another lioness up on the other bank, so that's four. It's quite possible that the fifth is here somewhere as well. Um, just trying to think. This is not the easiest area to work in. Okay, let's just try it. Now, Shamsung is wondering, will the mother of the older cubs get mad for the other mother giving discipline to hers. Uh, it's, yes, sometimes. Uh, sometimes they just stay out of it. Now these sort of little social hierarchies need to be sorted out uh, quite quickly for the pride to start behaving amicably again. But you know, yeah, that lioness is getting annoyed with her own children or the, the older cubs. So, guys, we're gonna have, we've got to make space. There are a lot of other people coming. And we have spent a 
the whole morning so far with these cubs and had the best sighting. So I'm going to have to move out of here and let someone else come in. I think the initial aggression, that initial amazing interaction is over. So I think they're going to slowly figure out the pride dynamics during the day. We'll definitely be back here on the Sunset Safari to figure out what's going on. Oh, wait just one second before we do. Mom's coming back down again. She might go greet the lionesses. And this is where the little, the older cubs sometimes take the opportunity to make a beeline to the little ones. Bernie, just give me a minute or two and I'll make space for you in the good spot. So I'm just going to see what happens now. So there's greeting going on between the adult lionesses behind that bush. Okay, but we're just going to see what happens. So the, the smallest cubs are just off, but there looks to be a bigger cub who's thinking about going towards them. It seems the one of the smallest cubs is a little bit more timid than the others and staying a bit further back. Her mom is even growling at the older cubs if they come close to her while she's with another adult lioness. So that, that is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, all older cubs accounted for. Mm, growl that, turn around, retreat. And then the sm two of the smallest cubs are right next to us there in the thicket. And then one's just a bit further away. Okay, we're going to have to make space. It doesn't look like anything's about to explode right now. So isn't this incredible? The first ever uh, interaction of all the Nkuma Cubs together. What a special moment to be here live. And I'm so happy that Vim and I got to share it with all of you. I think uh, we're talking quietly because we're next to the lines, but we're actually vibrating in our seats. We're so excited. But while we try and maneuver out of here, let's go see how Commander Bond is faring.